Hi Gilroy, Mayor Marie Blankley with a message today on what Gilroy is doing to address homelessness. It's easy to say that the solution to homelessness is to provide housing, but that statement alone doesn't consider the many factors, not to mention the obstacles, that go into making any housing project sustainable. I'd like to start by saying that, uh, in my opinion, artificially limiting growth, which is something that cities have been doing for decades, benefits only those who already have a home. Instead, cities, city governments, I mean in particular, should be focusing on the, the delivery of city services, the necessary city services that um, are required for all of our residents. That's what the focus should be, not on a particular number of homes, but on how well we can deliver the services that we're obligated to provide for our residents. Part of that includes, uh, includes considering access to transportation and jobs. That's part of what makes uh, housing sustainable in any city is that people have to have access to transportation to get them to their jobs. Otherwise, things as simple as paying your utility bills aren't gonna happen. So that's how, that's how I see things to start with. Then we have to acknowledge that county services, state services, and city services are different. So homelessness in particular, homelessness, uh, social services, public transportation, public health, these are a few of the things that are county services. In response to homelessness, the county put Measure A on the ballot in 2016. That's the measure that passed and raised almost a billion dollars by the voters saying, county, please try to end homelessness. And that's what's been happening with the money that's been coming in thus far on Measure A. The county has helped thousands, thousands of men, women, and children get to a better quality of life. That's a good thing. We all know that there's still more. So the county, uh, the way they communicate with, with the cities, because we all need to cooperate, we don't live in a vacuum, is they produce their plan for the next five years and we all get together and look at that and try to see how we can all help. What the city of Gilroy has done has created, we've created an ad hoc committee and we've got three council members that we put on there because we, we're not allowed to have more than that. Three is um, the maximum number of council members that can be present on anything at any one time because of the Brown Act. But this way we have council members who can then um, attend regular meetings with not just the county, but with our local nonprofit agencies, and therefore we have a single uh, source point, right? Instead of just having a lot of people doing a lot of different talk, you funnel that all into this one ad hoc committee that has regular meetings with all the different people and organizations that have perspectives on what we can or cannot do with whatever resources we do or do not have. And that's a vetting process that then helps us all actually get somewhere. We can formulate an action plan through something like that. So this ad hoc committee exists, is holding these, having these regular meetings, attending these regular meetings. Um, if you want to be involved or you have comments to say, or you, know, you can email any of the council members or you can participate in the ad hoc committees as long as you're not another council member. And hopefully help us all get to a point of having information centralized so that we as a city can look at our part in assisting with what the county can do with the money that they receive through Measure A. That's, that's the idea because homelessness is a growing problem. It's not, it's not going to, to go away. We know that. I hope, my particular hope, is that through this process, we're able to vet through all of the factors and obstacles that I referred to in the beginning, including, including addressing the stigma that exists, um, where, that somehow labels homelessness as something to fear, in and of itself, something to fear. Um, so that in the end, we can all say that we did our best with what we have to help each other. Thank you.